Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to download and install apps on your iPhone SE 3 or the third generation or the 2022 model on the latest version of the iOS. So let's get started. So in order to download and install any apps on your iPhone, first thing you need to make sure is you're connected to the internet. In order to do that, you want to make sure from the control center here, you want to make sure you're connected to either Wi-Fi or have cellular data, but you'll need internet connection. After you have the internet connection, simply find the App Store app, which is a default app on your iPhone. You're going to go ahead and open it up. And once you open it up, it should look something like this. And what you want to do here once you get to it is click on your profile icon of the top here. If you click on here, we want to verify two things. The first thing is that you want to make sure you're signed in into your Apple ID. If you're not signed in, go ahead and sign in. If you have an existing account or if you don't have one, which comes to the second part is you can create one for free. But an Apple ID is required which in order to download and install any apps on your iPhone that's not the default app. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my existing Apple ID, but if you need to create a new one, simply click on this button, which will allow you to go through the process of putting in your info, like your name, um, password, and then agreeing to terms and condition, and then you'll be able to create one for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And once I do that, I'm gonna get to the second part in terms of downloading and installing the apps. All right, I just have signed into my Apple ID, but if you created a new one, you should also be signed in and you can verify your name and stuff shows up. That means you're signed in, ready to go. What you can do is now in order to download and install app, really simple, you see there's a search page here. What you can do is go ahead and search for the app that you like to download. Let's say I wanna download maybe TikTok. I go over, find TikTok, and you should see here, you'll be able to click on it on the app here. On the search list, it'll come up, you click on it, and then all you do is click on that get button. And once you do that, it's gonna ask you to install. You click on install, it may ask you for your Apple ID password one more time. So I'm gonna enter the Apple ID password here. All right, so I entered my Apple ID password one more time. I'm just gonna hit on sign in again. Sometimes it likes to do that. And after that, you could see the spinny thing happens. And this prompt asks you if you want to require the password for additional devices. You can choose either or it doesn't really matter, whatever your preference is. So I'll just put always require. But the option is the other thing, sometimes if you have touch ID set up, it might ask you to put your thumb there for the touch ID. But as you can see here, it's starting to download and starting to spin. Usually most app takes about a minute or two download depending on your internet connection. But after that, you'll be able to download and install the app. We can click on the home button here and then go back and see on the main screen that the app is being downloaded here on our page. You can locate it. You just wait till it downloads and installs, which will happen at the same time. Sometimes if you don't see it on the screen here, you can go all the way to the very last page under app library under recently added. You also see it here or you can search for the app here. For example, TikTok, and then you can add it to the main screen there as well. So you see here, and it's being added here. And that's it when it comes to downloading, installing any apps on it. You can do multiple apps by going to finding another one. Maybe you want to get Snapchat, same exact process. You click on the get here, you can see you install. I ask you for your Apple ID password, and then you can install it again. And that's pretty much how it goes when it comes to installing any apps on your iPhone SE third generation. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.